everybody. Welcome to Drumeo. I'm Aaron Edgar from the band Third Ion. And today, we are continuing on in our The Polyrhythms of Tool series, this time with Reflection. Now, here's the cool thing about this song, is this beat, like the main beat from this track, applies the 4 over 3 polyrhythm that we worked on last time in Jambi, but it disguises it so it's almost hard to even notice. It's not super obvious. It's not the type of clear pattern for a polyrhythm like we saw in Jambi, where, I mean, your right hand's playing the quarter note, your right foot is playing every third sixteenth note, which has given us our four equally spaced notes for every three of these. It's super clear in this context because we have each piece of the rhythm represented singly, as in just individual notes. In this, we have our rhythms dressed up a little bit. We still have the three represented by playing a quarter note with our left foot, whereas the four is an embellished pattern that moves around the toms. Anyway, let's recap how to make our four over three polyrhythm, then we'll see how it works rhythmically within the context of this song, and then we'll put it together just like last time with a loop that sounds like the track we're playing it with. Anyway, let's jump on in. To create our four over three, we're gonna take 16th notes in three, four time, and we're gonna accent every third one of them. That gives us four equally spaced notes over three beats. Let's start by setting up our three layer by just accenting quarter notes over simple 16th notes on the hi-hats. This gives us our framework that every piece of this rhythm fits within. Let's go nice and slow at first at 60, and then we'll pick it up again to 90. Now in step two, we're gonna check out our four layer. Same as we did in Jambi, we're just accenting every third hi-hat. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. So we still have to feel the quarter note, those numbers as the pulse. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. But we've got this syncopated 316 layer accenting on top. Let's try it at the same two tempos. Now here's where it gets interesting. We're gonna put together just the bare polyrhythm. We'll have just our three layer as straight quarter notes and our four layer as dotted eighths or three sixteen partials. But we're gonna play it so it's similar to how it works within the groove from reflection. So our left hand is gonna take our four layer, which is every third sixteenth note, but we're gonna go up and down our toms. Floor tom, middle rack, smallest rack, middle rack. Floor tom, middle rack, smallest rack, middle rack. On our 316 position, so one E and a two E and a three E and a floor, middle rack, middle, one E and a two E and a three E and a. And our left foot is gonna play quarter notes. Nice and slow, sounds like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a. Let's try it with the metronome.
Now, the thing about reflection is that it's not in 3-4. So unlike Jambi, which was a multiple of 3 in 6-4, where our polyrhythm fit evenly, this one, being in 4-4 time, has an extra quarter note. So we've got 1 and a, 2 and a, 2 and a, 4 and a. So we've got that quarter note that's going to mess up the flow of our polyrhythm. This is part of why it's not so easily noticed within the pattern of the song. Check this out. We're going to drop that chord note just on the snare. Other than that, we'll keep it the same. So we'll have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And then that pattern will repeat. Let's go nice and slow. Just hear what it sounds like. Then same thing. We'll toss it with our metronome. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Let's try it with our metronome. So we're going to take one more kind of intermediate step before we jump into the full version of the reflection groove. It's got a bunch of interesting syncopated combinations with our hands. So let's try an easy version first, and then we'll put together all of the intricacy of the full thing. For this, our right hand is going to play eighth note. So it's going to kind of set up the time. Let's just see what our right hand does with our left foot. So our left foot plays simple quarter notes. Right hand is going to play eighth notes. And it's going to play a pattern of this. The first note's going to be on your largest floor tom. Now, if you don't have two floor toms, you can just play them all on one of them. But it's going to be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So just beat one comes to the big floor tom, everything else on your middle floor tom. Let's see what this sounds like nice and slow, right hand and left foot. Nothing to it. Let's see what our left hand does over this pattern. So we're not going to play that first note on beat one like we had when we were setting it up. Our right hand playing the largest floor tom can take care of that. But our left is going to go on the E of one. So we got one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So E of one, and of two, a uh of three, beat four. Only thing that's left is the kick drum. It's going to go on beat one. It's going to go right after beat two and right before our snare drum on beat four.
step, and our job is to put together the entirety of this reflection groove. So there is a couple things that are different, but for the most part, the structure is pretty much what we just set up in this last beat. There's one additional left hand note. When we get to our smallest tom, you're just gonna play two of them. Check it out. But our right hand pattern isn't solid eighth notes. Check this out. Once we get to that eight inch tom, where we've got the two left hands now, our right hand's actually gonna play three notes. Now I'm gonna play these on a stack, but if you've got sample pads, you can set up uh, percussion instruments like tablas, you'll be able to get something that sounds really close to the samples that Danny's using. Check this out, let me just show you what that sounds like from the full pattern. Together, together, right, left, right, kick, snare drum on its own. And then it's just a quarter note for one of the bars. Let's just try that a couple of times. Now the only additional thing is that every second bar, there is the end of four and the uh of four just going from your floor tom to your middle tom back to the start. So let's go nice and slow with our metronome. First we'll do 60 BPM, then we'll even work it up a little bit to 75, and then the album tempo, which is 91. Now we've created loops that go with this that sound pretty much like the song that you can practice along with. I'll blend them in after we start this with just the clicks so you can hear what we're talking about. Make sure you download them and play along yourself. That's so much fun to do. Anyway, let's check it out. The full reflection beat at 60. going to wrap it up for our reflection lesson from the polyrhythms of Tool. Now, the sound within that beat that sort of pitches upward from a tom, that that's sort of on beat one of each of the passes of this, as far as I know, Danny's playing that on one of his mandala pads as well, but it's such an integral part of the sound, we've also included that in the pack. Now, if you have pads and you want to program something like that, use that on beat one with that first note. Anyway, like I said at the beginning, I'm Aaron Edgar from the band Third Ion, and I'll see you guys all inside the next lesson right here in Drumio. Later!